Dr. Ken Berry, blood tests you should get to track your progress in reversing type 2 diabetes. Let me tell you about the lab tests that you need to ask your doctor for so that you can monitor how well you're doing on the journey of reversing your type 2 diabetes. Uh, you want a fasting glucose for sure. You also want a hemoglobin A1C. That's going to give you a three-month average of what your blood sugar has been doing. Many doctors stop right there, and they don't realize that having chronically high insulin levels is just as bad and just as unhealthy and just as pathological as having a chronically high blood sugar level. Lab test results. Fasting glucose, normal, 99 or below. Prediabetes, 100 to 125. Diabetes, 126 or above. Hemoglobin A1C, normal is below 5.7. Prediabetes, 5.7 to 6.4. Diabetes, 6.5 or above. So you're also going to get a C-peptide and a fasting insulin check. These are going to tell you if you're eating low carb enough to completely reverse your type 2 diabetes and to keep it in remission or to keep it reversed or to keep it cured. However you want to say it, I think that if you reverse your type 2 diabetes, you've earned the right to call it whatever you want to call it. Lab test results. C-peptide. The normal range is 0.5 to 2.0. Fasting insulin, the normal range is 5 to 8. Using these five easy steps, many people can reverse their type 2 diabetes in a month or two months. Some people who have been type 2 diabetic for longer or who have a harder time giving up all the carbohydrates might take two to six months to completely reverse their type 2 diabetes. But when you understand that type 2 diabetes is actually just chronic carbohydrate overdose syndrome, you'll understand. And so if your A1C gets better as you cut the carbohydrates, but it doesn't go all the way back to normal, my goal for you is for you to have a hemoglobin A1C of 5.6 or less. I want you to have a normal A1C and a normal C peptide. That is the, the sweet spot where you're truly healthy and, and the possibility of having a long health span and a long lifespan are within your grasp. I have hundreds of videos on this YouTube channel that will help you reverse your type 2 diabetes. If you love veggies and you want to include some in your diet, then check out my Keto 101 playlist. If you are, would just be happy eating meat and eggs, and cheese and nothing else, then check out my Carnivore 101 playlist. If you eat low carbohydrate enough on either one of these, you're gonna reverse your type two diabetes. Lab test to ask your doctor to order for you. One, fasting glucose. Two, hemoglobin A1C, which gives a three month running average of your blood sugar. Many doctors stop with these two. Lab test results. Fasting glucose, normal, 99 or below. Prediabetes, 100 to 125. Diabetes, 126 or above. Hemoglobin A1C, normal is below 5.7. Prediabetes, 5.7 to 6.4. Diabetes, 6.5 or above. But you should also insist on getting three C-peptide tests and four fasting insulin. These will tell you if you're eating low enough carbs to reverse your type 2 diabetes and keep it reversed. Lab test results. C-peptide. The normal range is 0.5 to 2.0. Fasting insulin. The normal range is 5 to 8. Using the five steps as outlined in the previous video, many people can reverse their type 2 diabetes in a month or two. For some, it may take a bit longer. Remember that type 2 diabetes is actually chronic carbohydrate overdose syndrome. The goal, Dr. Berry explains, 
is to get your hemoglobin A1C at 5.6 or less for a long, healthy lifespan. Dr. Berry has a YouTube channel with hundreds of videos and millions of viewers. You can see the description below this video's title. And he has three playlists that may be of interest. One, Diabetes 101, Keto Diets 101, and Carnivore Diets 101. The links to these three playlists are in this video's description below the title. Annotated, summarized, easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.